Uh, given the salute there before he boards Air Force One, just like that, he touched down not even four hours that ago. That was a quick trip, but as you said, very impactful. The president also traveling with the press corps, so they will be on Air Force One. This is the video. Check it out. These Ukrainian children were present at a pep rally in Moscow. These children were saved by Russian soldiers. I explained about body language also. Look at the faces of these children. These are children that are full of hope now. There is true love in how they watch him, how they look at him, their savior. This is not staged. In the United States, you will not find this footage. India has extended the import of Russian oil. It is a totally opposite position of the European sanction. Yeah, will you change your attitude during the G20 presidency? Uh, the European Union, uh, between February 24th and uh, 17th November, has imported more fossil fuel from Russia than the next 10 countries combined. Uh, just as I were to give you an India comparison, uh, the oil import in European Union is like six times what India has imported. Gas is infinity times because we don't import, uh, whereas European Union has imported 50 billion do dollars worth, uh, 50 billion euros worth. Even coal imports from Russia by European Union, I'm not singling any particular country, uh, is 50% uh, more than India has imported. So I would very respectfully suggest maybe European Union is actually doing something very much. Deutschland, bedenke immer, von den vier Besatzermächten war es nur Russland, der dir deine Freiheit wiedergegeben hat. Bis heute haben die Amerikaner immer noch über 100 Airbase in Deutschland sowie Atomwaffen stationiert. Russland hat nach der Wiedervereinigung sein komplettes Militär aus Deutschland abgezogen. Deutschland ist die Finanzmaschine der Amerikaner und es wird derzeit ein Nazi-Regime in der Ukraine über den Rücken Deutschlands von den Amerikanern Unterstützt. Außerdem war es Russland, die zweimal Amerika aufgefordert haben, Deutschland ihre volle Souveränität wieder.